There we go. Good afternoon, everybody. I had muted my microphone by accident. I'm up in the balcony of our church. Um, just finished recording parts of our Easter Sunday service. Um, it is weird being up here recording a uh, joyous occasion on Good Friday. Um, it was very humbling to listen to the music and the readings and the meditations um, on this day that we remember the death of Jesus. I'm going to read from <clears throat> uh, Matthew 27, verses 32 through 44. Um, as I'm reading, you know, feel free to um, close your eyes and listen. Um, if you want to do a comment to um, let me know everything is okay, um, or you can share a prayer, concern, or a joy, or just to say hello. Um, so let's listen for the word of the Lord. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they offered him wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from that cross. In the same way, the chief priest also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel. Let him come down from this cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to, for he said, I am God's Son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what can you say about Good Friday that hasn't been said a thousand times before? Maybe nothing. This day is one of the most important in our faith, the day that Jesus died. <clears throat> Now, a few summers ago, our high schoolers went on a mission trip to my old camp in South Carolina, Camp Fellowship. I wrote a newsletter article about our work there, and those memories came flooding back these past few weeks. One of our tasks there was to build a new cross for their morning worship area. Now, the camp right now is hosting a children's choir during this pandemic. And Elizabeth Wilkins shared an article with me asking if the cross in the article about the children's choir being hosted at camp was the same cross that we built. And it was. Apparently, we weren't horrible carpenters for it to be still standing years later. Now, while it was fun working on that project with the youth, it was still built out of love. I remember having to cut the tree down that we use with a chainsaw. It's kind of crazy for me to do that. I remember us falling into the lake and dragging the tree out and having fun and splashing around. Now, none of our building of this cross was sad or painful, minus a few splinters, of course. It was an act of joy hanging out with our high school youth, building something we knew would be meaningful thing for campers years to come, and we were right, it's still standing up. The cross Jesus died on was just an afterthought, built on an order from an official before an execution, just a couple pieces of leftover wood strong enough to hold a body up, nothing special for the guards, just another torture device used to kill thieves and other criminals. It reminded us that there were two more 
bandits with Jesus that day in the Gospel of Matthew. Now, much like yesterday, when I said God takes the simple and makes it holy, God took a device of execution and torture and made it a symbol for a movement. Now think about it. Many of us have cross necklaces or bumper stickers or ornaments on our tree or mantelpiece. Maybe even some of us have tattoos of crosses. We decorate the cross at our church. We have a gold-plated one on our communion table that I can see right there. The cross now is a symbol of hope for us all, not a symbol of torture. Now this, if anything, is God working in mysterious ways. Amen? But today we do remember that death and those moments of the execution cross of Jesus. The pain, the suffering, the isolation and abandonment he must have felt. All that for us, for the whole world. Today we are thankful for that act of selfless love of God in flesh. And today we are sorry for our sin, for the world's sin that brought it to that. And at the same time, we are hopeful. Today we are hopeful that God takes death and brings new life from it. Let's close in prayer. God of the cross, you take death and make new life from it. Today we are sorry for our part in Jesus' death. We are sorry it came to that, but we are thankful that you will go to any length to be with us, something we can never repay. Help us to reflect today upon the cross. In Jesus' name, the one who died for us all, and all God's children said, Amen. A few announcements. <clears throat> Don't forget to sign up for the prayer vigil. We have a few time slots left. If you need help, contact me. Happy to do it for you. Um, that starts at 9 o'clock tonight, and you will pray from your home. And remember, the idea is to um, all of us to stay awake during those times to um, share watching over until Easter morning comes. Uh, the Stations of the Cross are on YouTube right now. They'll be on our podcast after I'm done with this video. Um, you can check your email for the words um, if you would prefer just to read them and pray on your own. Um, and tonight at 6.30, uh, there will be a Good Friday reflection from Mike with some music from our youth, and that will be on YouTube. And then tomorrow we will have... Um, our last devotion of Holy Week on Holy Saturday. So join me at noon tomorrow on Facebook for our last devotion of this week. I uh, hope you have uh, a meaningful Good Friday. Take advantage of these opportunities we have to um, worship and reflect and pray. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Go in peace. <laughs>